Pastor yeah. Paul. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the city of St. John, and we ask you to give wisdom to the council members and any that will share reports and opinions during this meeting. We ask for your direction for what's best for our community. Keep our hearts safe during this time as we seek to help the community of St. John move forward in becoming a better, safer place to live and work and worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, is there any additions to the agenda this evening? Yes, I don't know. Need to add the request for a purchase, please. of the regular meeting of February 5th, 2013. <clears throat> Approve appropriation ordinance 0219-2013 in the amount of $15,314.48 and Mayor's Proclamation for National Kids to Park Day. So moved. Choice. Choice. Aye. All in favor say aye. Aye. All in there's any specific comments this evening? Our department, Michael? I don't have anything. And people are still burning left and right. So, do you guys have anything for Michael? Okay. Thank you very much. Police Department, <clears throat> Adam. Okay, the uh, first thing is the uh, lead balance carryover that we. Questions you guys look over at the beginning of this year. because this has to be approved to carry over. Okay. So it was, when I first requested it, I had asked that because, you know, we're, by policy we're allowed to carry over five. But this here, down here, has been changed. It says 14 days, now it's 12 days. Well, that yeah, that was the end of the year. Okay. That, the, okay. The, the, what we started with is okay. the 14. So I had asked um, at the beginning of the year to either consider paying it out um, or if, if you were going to have us carry it all over, just whatever, whatever we're going to do. Okay, good 
have a motion, please? I move to pay uh, vacation and holiday pay. I would have a separate motion for holiday and a separate motion for overtime. Mm, vacation. For vacation. vacation. Yes. You want two different motions? Well, I would. <clears throat> we need to explain that. Okay, so let me start it over. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I go ahead? Okay. You, she, um, I don't want to say that. Disregard that motion. You didn't even start it, did you? Or you did. Is there a motion on the table? There is a I'm partial. Kind of partial motion yeah. Yeah. On Thinking the on table. how you want to word that. Yeah. And so maybe you want to pay the holiday pay holidays that were not used in 2012. Second that motion. <clears throat> okay, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. Okay, now. Do you want me to get clarification on this? Yes, that's what okay. I'm asking about. That's what I wanted to ask Adam. Adam, on hmm? your worksheet, <clears throat> where you have the 12 days down at the bottom, uh -huh. that includes the five days that you would be allowed to carry over, right? Correct. So we would subtract the five days, mm -hmm. and that's the extra that you're asking? Correct. Okay. Yep. Then Since we're, we're asking clarification, how come there's such a huge difference in the amount of days from top to bottom? What do you mean? With Charlie having seven yep. days, Aaron one and a half, and you three. How come Charlie has so many? How come, how come he wasn't allowed to have, any, have days off and evidently you guys work? Well, first of all, he was allowed. Um, th this last year, there wasn't time that Charlie wrote down on the vacation calendar to take off. So the, the, way, the way we do our vacation time is we have a calendar up in the office. And if, you know, if you've got a, a kid's birthday, you're going to go to a wedding or something like that, and you just pencil it in on the calendar that you would request that day off, and, and we do it. So that, that is, it's on the individual officer to use their time. So you're saying he didn't request any of them days? Correct. That's exactly what I'm saying. And in, in the past, when we when we were uh, when we had four full time officers and didn't have a problem taking it off, once once we got within four or five months of the end of the year, then it would be said, you know, you need to start using up your time. That way, we can get it get it used up, and you're not having to worry about carrying over. But nobody nobody has ever been denied time ever, unless it just was not possible.
nursing care. Yes. And so, council, from here on out, we're going by the policy, correct? Policy. Going by the policy. From here no on exceptions. Out. From here on out, Adam, we're going by the policy, no exceptions, okay? okay. So, okay. and then tomorrow I would like to get with you sometime, so are you on duty? Oh, you're busy tomorrow. Uh, not in the morning, though. Not in the morning? Nope. Okay. I'll see what I have scheduled. Of course, that depends on the weather, too, I guess, whether or not he's going to... That is very true. And, I, and so, I guess that's another thing I should ask why we're here. If, if, if he can't make it, do I go ahead and take the test, or do I wait until to take it until he's going to be here um, immediately there after? Take it when he's here. Well, he's not going to be here anyways when Adam's taking the test. He's going to show up after Adam takes the test. Adam will be here in the... So anyways, we will. Um, I will call him in the morning okay. and ask him. And let you know. Okay. So, um, then I guess that's that's it. So you can head. Purchase on. Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> number three, or you added a request for a purchase. Can we do two before that? Or? Oh, doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, uh, as far as just the, the police chief report, um, Aaron, Aaron, uh, as a training class, I'd like for him to go to in March, a uh, one-day class at the academy for sixty dollars. I just need approval for. It's one day. One day. Okay. Is it mandatory? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Forty hours. It's part of his forty hours a year. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Well, I just you were asking, so. Well, that's what you guys directed me to do. Yeah. So. Well, I would say. You would next time come say, hey, we have a mandatory course for Aaron. He's going to be gone this day. Okay. That's what I was saying. We can tell him no. Yeah, I mean, so. Well, I know, but does, you guys ask Adam to bring it to the table every time on, his, on whatever, on yeah. spending. So, I appreciate that. Okay. okay and then John afforded me a, uh, a vehicle from a police department here in Kansas that is for sale. You take a look at that, and I've got enough room. Oh, okay. And possibly consider this for us, please. Thank you. Do you want another copy, John, or did you? No, I'm fine. Okay. It is. It is a fully equipped vehicle. It has a. Uh, radar in it, obviously, uh, light bar, siren and control, console. Um, the only thing that would need to be put into the vehicle would be a radio that we would have to purchase separate. So you're not replacing the vehicle? We, well, if, if, if we were allowed to purchase this, I would like to put the Blazer up for sealed bid. Or well, that radio would just be moved over? We don't have a radio in the Blazer. No, and with the uh, the narrow banding, we, we have some older radios upstairs, but they're old enough that they're not able to be narrow banded, so we would have to, to purchase a radio to go with it. That's their asking price. Do you think they would come down? I have I don't know that. An offer? Okay. Um, as far as the um, the equipment with it is probably around thirty five hundred dollars of that in in the used equipment. But it is something that would set us up good in the future also as far as uh, purchasing other patrol vehicles and that. The ones we have now would have adequate equipment to, to go over to another vehicle. I would maybe at least call and see if he can't get him to come down a little bit. Yeah. And if he does, I mean... Well, what would be the, I mean, what, what would be your, the, the problem with it is, is, is it in a couple of weeks it's going to be gone. Right, right. So I, I guess, do you have a, an idea of something that you would like to see it go down to? 3500 <laughs> 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 well, I don't, I don't. Well, he does have money set aside, mm -hmm. you know, he's been doing that every year for a while, so <clears throat> he has, we wouldn't have to do a lease or anything. He should choose to go that direction. He has room in the capital projects improvements, not even in the. How many miles does your car have on it? Car has uh, 105,000. 
the truck, I believe, has somewhere between 110 and 115. What did the car have on it? 50,000 when we got it? Yeah. Uh, what do you want to have on the mechanic? Go down and look at it and reduce the fuel. They've got, they've, they've got all the service records available for it. Um, in talking to the chief, uh, the only major thing they've had to do is he said to replace the front hubs, which was something that's pretty common with a SUV driving around town all the time. Miles, your blazer head. Why are you? Why are there six thousand hubs when it's just a bearing? What's that? That ain't a four wheel drive. It's a four by two. Well, that that was the words he used. So. Blazer. Thirty six thousand. Give or take, it may be a little more than less. My point would be if you were actually going to buy one, to buy one with lower mileage. Well, the reason I'm bringing this... one at 81,000, and they're saying the ones with 105 are nickel and diamond, so... I tried bringing ones to you at lower miles, and you guys told me no, so I was going to try to go this route. Trooper cars available? Um, yeah, about a two year wait. 18 months, two year wait. Or just throw an offer out and see what he says. I mean, eight thousand dollars. I don't know. If he says no, that's the worst he'll say. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll counter offer. Sure. So. Or, you know, I mean, or he may be bound to. to maybe. No, I'd like to bring bring the bring the figure back to the table. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we could have gone. a special meeting. Yeah. We could throw a special meeting together. Well, and I'm not, you know. I mean, I agree with Troy. I would rather have something lower mileage if, if I mean, the, the last signing we had 15000 set aside for a patrol car. So, I agree, I'd rather have something lower mileage, but this being a fully equipped vehicle and less money than what we had looked at in the past, I thought I'd throw it out there. What year is it? 2007. Well, I guess see what his bottom dollar is, okay. Adam, and we'll bring it back to the call for a special meeting, bring it to the table, and, and um, we'll go from there. Thank you. Do that. Thank you. Okay. So, any questions for Adam? Thank you. Melvin. Uh, one thing I had was. Uh, the contractor that's doing the uh, boring for the water project and, the, uh, and requested that we see if it'd be available to put a this unit in storage in our old parents' fire station. You know, that keeps it from getting cold and getting all early to start. He said he thinks they'll think that'll be done by May, and so project on May basis, but we say if we're going to pay two hundred dollars just to get the full in. He's got it in there right now because of the cold weather coming up. They're shut down until probably next week. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. that, that, that uh, Unless you've got a real objection to it. No. So not if you don't. No. We, we've kind of shuffled some stuff around. Right it'll work for a while. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's all I have. Any questions for Mel? Thank you. Administration John. Questions for John? something. Uh, we received a legislative update last week from the league. Late last Friday, the LKM, and this was uh, dated February 11th. Uh, so it was a week ago, and uh, I brought this to the attention of the Stafford City Council. Late last Friday, the LKM discovered that the Senate Ethics, Elections, and Local Government Committee intended to hold a hearing at 9.30 this morning, which is Monday, on Senate Bill 109. The bill would 
prohibit all public funds for lobbying or paying dues to any association that lobbies. LKM did our best to rally the troops and get the word out. We are pleased to report that the room was packed this morning. City, county, and school district. Oops. school district officials opposing the legislation. Action requested. We are asking all of you to contact your senators and ask them to oppose Senate Bill 109. Tell them to ask Chairman Pyle not to work this one, work this onerous piece of legislation that will serve only to silence the voices of local government and have a negative impact on intergovernmental relationships. Thank you in advance for your contacts on this very important issue. It is the voice of your communities that are trying to be silenced. So it's critical that we hear your opposition to this testimony. Uh, this will have, I mean, this will basically make the league, KMU, all the electrical associations, everybody have no voice in the legislation. What that does, I mean, uh, take an instance like we had with one citizen that was upset and we had to go make our presentation to the legislature. None of us would be able to go up and give our side of the story. So any disgruntled citizen that goes up and, and wants to pass a piece of legislation for some individual purpose could possibly get it done without there being any controversy or any comment from the local unit of government that it affects. Uh, part of this is out is the legislature is a little bit as, acting like a little child. From what I, from what I understand, uh, one senator told Kim Wynn, uh, uh, Kim Wynn, that this was to get back at the cities for opposing the moderate Republicans. Uh, I've had and I've had other people tell me that this is to get back at the school districts for their for their, uh, their lawsuits against the uh, state for their funding. So this is going to affect school boards. This is going to affect county governments. It's going to affect city governments. Anybody that isn't a public entity is going to be affected by this legislation. The second piece of legislation that's come up is the city election thing that was argued today. Uh, the city elections by the, under this bill will be moved to the fall elections, so everybody running for city council in the future will be a, on a partisan ticket. So you'll you have to declare your politics and, and run on Republican or Democrat. Most people in the state prefer the city elections be nonpartisan and be based upon be based upon ability and not based on a party affiliation. So if you have any idea or if you have time, you should contact your state senator. Is that an email, Tom? That is an email. Can you forward that and then I can forward that to these guys because in the past, I've been able to go out on a website and actually contact your senator or congressman that way, and it's pretty painless. Right, that's well. That's what I did. To you. But this, I mean, this is just. Is our senator? I don't going know. to. I did talk to Ken. I, I yeah. cornered Ken Holman today, and Ken mm -hmm. was his campaign treasurer, and so I did. I did say, Ken, you. I mean, Kim says I don't agree with that. But I said you've got to talk to Mitch Holmes. About because this will affect, I mean, this is going to affect everybody. That's ridiculous. I mean, uh, it is just, I mean, you're not going to have any say. You're not going to be able to have your, a voice. You, your voice at all like in the legislature at all. Even should be see Jonna or the mayor or anybody that, or any staff can't go up because we're on, pay, we're on payroll. So no staff person can go up and testify even if they don't like a bill. And you guys can go up there, but the city can't pay you mileage. If you don't like a bill, you're not going to be reimbursed anything. You'll be on your own time, your own nickel. How many are you going to go up there on your own nickel and lobby for a bill? Probably not for anything. Yeah. So, um, we've got to do something. Well, for it on. Yes. And I think they usually have a phone number so you can even call in and say, I've been able to sign all my petitions before. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I yeah, think they do have an online petition on that um, election. The election head does have an online petition. <coughs> I just should have it. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thanks, Don. Any questions for Don? Okay. 
no new business, old business. I would like for you guys to maybe study that library funding. We need to figure out what or if we are going to do anything about that or help school out or what are we going to do more or if we are, if we're not, we need to let that I didn't know he actually ever came and actually asked for anything. Okay. He just presented it. He just presented right. it. But and asked us to look at it. Yeah. But I yeah, do think they are I mean, going what's to his expect ideas? us to pay more. I think, uh, well, I'm not saying that, but what's his ideas? That's what I'm, I mean. What, what's he suggesting? Yeah, what's well, Josh wanting? I mean, what's what's he thinking is the new, I mean. I know the, well, the way I'm Instead I mean, of us just coughing out a number and either offending right. him or. Right. Overdoing it. I mean, let's get his input on this, okay. or if he wants our input. Well, I think the, the school board as a whole yes. is wanting the city to. Cur currently, Mrs. Snyder wants to talk with both the school board and Mr. Council. Meyer on this, oh. and then come back to council at, a, okay. at another time. But I, was gonna say, I don't know when that's going to happen. So okay, I would right. definitely put it in her plans for budget though. Oh, yeah, I agree. That's why I'd like to know what their opinion is. So yeah. ask her if, if I find something out, I'll be sure yes. to write one million. Well, uh, I think it's about 12,000. It used to be about 12,000. No, it's 18,000. Yeah, we asked 6,000 more about three years ago, um, and we went up for that. Um, is it stated separately, city library on the mill levy? It's it a library fund. Or is it yeah. included our 72 mills? It's, it's, we have a mill for all. Three different funds. <laughs> what? Nothing. For a general fund, for our bond issuance, and then. So it's included in a city on our back of yes. our taxes. Not, not library, city library. You know, it says Ohio, and it says a cemetery, and it says city. It says USD. Yes, we're city. Okay. It's that included in city. City library fund is included in the city's. Now, there's library, probably separate. I don't know for sure. You know, USD and, and library, I don't know. I've never seen but, the library separate. <laughs> okay. But what doesn't make sense to me is if if we need to tax more, wouldn't you tax the bigger yeah, the whole school base, district. tax base, more than just put all that burden on the city, citizens of St. John? Yep. I think there's limitations on what the school I think they can do it for school functions, but they can't tax for books that are bought for the general public. But the city can. The city can. Yes. For books, what about personal? Well, I, I don't, well, I'm just saying that I don't okay. you know. Okay. Well, we just need to. Talk I mean, they. I mean, they. If you really look at the city, the city budget, the library budget is probably over hundred thousand, or probably two hundred thousand. By the time we pay all the librarians and do all the books and all that, I mean, that's pretty substantial. But I'll say it's. To me, the county got to be approached to the commissioners about it. Well, then, then you're going to be looking at the county library, and I don't, you know, you're going to have, we're going to have to be looking at the, the libraries and actually and staff. I, I, you know, this, the library fund is a statutory created fund, but you've added, you, in the past, you have added extra money because they weren't, the, the old statutory fund was only one or two mills, I wasn't very much, and it was a, a barely, I can't remember the amount, but it was, I mean, it was only $12,000 for years, and then we added $6,000 a few years ago because it, it made me more money to do it. And, I mean, it used to be upstairs, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Move to adjourn. Second. Thanks, Council.